check, check, check. One, two, one, two is DJ Chase on the Lock and Live right now, the Spotlight Radio Show. Yeah. New music from the homie Johnny Floss. Let's ride. You already know how we do, man. Rotation independent. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Loudmouth, Vero G. Smooth. Good vibes outside today. Hope everybody enjoyed the weather. It was beautiful today. Just a light day, nice day outside. Hey, hey, hey. No worries, this will be up on streaming platforms next week. We rocking. Listen, listen in. Let's rock, let's rock, let's rock. Score two, stay safe, stay safe. I'm DJ Chase live in the mix right now. Virgin the Spotlight Radio Show. Special guest for today, like I said, man, Gemini Stacks, Loud Mouth Hero G, DJ Chase, the Spotlight Radio Show, Chia. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Let's Yeah. 
Yeah, man, the homie put the uh, homie Showtime, excuse me. This one's called Put the Stash Up on all streaming platforms working at right now. You're into NBA? In the arts, what up? Whoa, whoa. Catch this man in Spotlight Radio Show on that YouTube. So many networks. Ha! So many dope artists today. I want you to get familiar with them. Get familiar. Like I said, it's a showtime. Put the stash up. Ball. So tomorrow, tomorrow, BX, I'm at the Concourse Portrait Fest. 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., some dope poets. Hosted by Arts by Gray. Come out to Bronx, my Haven Bar and Grill. I'm there tomorrow night, DJ Chase. Let's rock. I think, Vero, we got to start. Yeah. We're to get scraggling, let's go. Oh, shit.
the next uh, thing I want to talk about here for announcements, or as we would call it, is that we're working on, let me double check this, I will be on the Women's Empowerment Benefit at September 19th and 20th. It'll be one of those two dates. We'll be online on Zoom. I'll give you further information on that as well. Uh, when um, I've already been posting on my Facebook, but just spread the love, and I appreciate it. And also, I'm selling tickets online. So hit me up if anybody's interested in listening in there. So, um, Anyway, how you guys doing? I'm talking so much here. How you guys doing? <laughs> how you paying the bills? You doing your job? No, I, I well, appreciate this. Thing, no, no, that's I'm loving this music. I could this all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it. How you doing with the loud mouth? How you doing? I don't know. What up? I'm a little grumpy over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's good? How's everybody? Um, everybody's good. How are you, Gemini? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Are you ready for the Eminem? Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Definitely want to shout out our bro, G, for putting me on her magazine. You know, so I'll be in the um, I'm not gonna be on the on, on, on the cover, but you know I'll be on the. You gotta talk to the mic. But I'll definitely be um definitely be inside. So awesome. hopefully I get it and um yes. see my story. Yes, talking about that. Thank you for reminding me. Since like a thousand things in my mind right now. August first issue of Mac Girl G Ma Spotlight Magazine will be out, guys, this Saturday. And of course, you're gonna have a feature on there. And Cuba Leak will be in the cover. There you go, so there we you got go. the exclusive. That's right, baby. The exclusive. On the interview on that, so go uh, get your copy at www.macloud.com. Yes. Also, as you see here, I got some literature for you guys. Uh, I got the newest book I made it's called Black Lives Matter. They're showing it here now. Yes. It's a movement. It's a movement, baby. That's right. <laughs> go get your copy at www.amazon.com. Also, um, get up my sophomore album, The Reservoir. You have to close in here. Uh, just right now, I'm doing like 50 cents behind the trunk. If you're interested, hit me up on Facebook. <laughs> I need that autograph copy. Oh, where are we? We'll talk after the show with you. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, also, let's all plug our social medias. Mine is Diva on Diamond. Diva and Diamond, forgive me. And IG, uh, what is yours, Kulama? Captain Crush, A J M Empire Media. Uh, website, jmempiremedia.com. I'm a videographer, photographer, producer, TV, radio. Uh, do it all. Holla. How about you, Gemini Stacks? Uh, <laughs> our social media is uh, Gemini Stacks on um, Facebook. That's called G M I N I S T A X dot double X. Um, Instagram is uh, Gemini Stacks. That's called G M I N I S T A X dot double X. I got a YouTube channel that I just put up about two months ago. So I definitely want y'all to support that too. Um, that's called uh, that's uh, Gemini Stacks cooking. Um, I just cook and I do all that type of stuff. So if y'all need anything like that, just hit me up. And you got the website dropping soon. Yes. Uh, we do websites as well. So GeminiStacksCooking.com will be up soon. Awesome. Stay tuned. Yeah, so yeah, one yeah. more time, uh, I didn't hear who's going to be uh, on the cover of August issue of the BRG Sonic Magazine, which is on Mad, Mad Cloud. Mad, Mad Cloud. Wow. Mad Cloud. You hear this one? Uh, wow. I'm wow. disrespecting you, man. Thank you so <laughs> much, man. I appreciate you. C-L-O-U-D.com. <laughs> Who's that guy gonna be? Mad Cloud. Yes, thank you. Cuban Link. Hold Cuban on. Link. But we gotta get to DJ Chase. Uh, Alright, we'll do that and we'll get back to DJ Chase. I got you. Back. I shot my social media. No, no, I got. Alright, alright. We got it. I'll still get you. I'll still get you. Alright, you're gonna do this or what, man? <laughs> oh, got some music playing? Yeah, yeah, man. Oh. That's uh, his, on my New York shit latest single. Which came out in 2019? Yes! Yes! Okay, okay. Should I start dancing? No, I got my dancing. coming to the Vero G Spotlight Magazine. This Saturday is on newsstands. It's available online. Digital and print. Get your copy now, Vero G Spotlight Magazine. Cuban Link, Terror Squad, The Don of New York. Black! Where am I? Where am I? You, you good? You good? You good? Yeah, having a high moment. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, DJ Chase, let them know where they can find you, baby. What's yes. up? What's up? Me, my turn, my turn, my turn. I'm doing like the director. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, at underscore DJ Chase. He's outside. That's good enough? Yeah, that's perfect right there. You got your own thing now. I like that. What I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry, I come up there. No, I'm loving that shit. I was like, ow. Shit, man. That reminds me of the movie. Remember that movie, guys? I'm gonna get you, sucker. 
<laughs> you're not going to go with this, right? Okay, you know when the guy in the background, he, I don't know who, which character was it, yeah. he said every hero has a theme song. Yeah. And they're walking down the street and have guys yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> that shit reminds me of that. <laughs> pretty good shit, pretty good shit. Okay. All right, not a problem. All right, so let's get to topic segment. Yes. There you go. Look at the, the rings over here. <laughs> all right, my first question is juicy this one here. Now, this for all you guys here, everybody. All right. all right, so first question is. Would you get a side piece if you have the opportunity? Who wants to answer that question first? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No? I, I, I got my lady here. So I, oh, okay, no, I respect it. That's, 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 that's the correct answer. That's the correct answer. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That was for Jason, by the way. Jerry Springer. <laughs> no, I'm not with it. You, 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 chat out. Okay, don't worry about it. I'm not with All right, so you, you're, you're, no comment. Yeah, no comment. I, I respect that. I respect that. All right. That's no, my, my comment is absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> okay. Looking in the eyes, absolutely not. I, 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 I respect. Yeah. No, I respect that. No, no problem. All right, and I'm, I'm putting the pressure on Gemini stats. <laughs> How about you? Grab a side piece. Nah, not if it's good at home. So. <laughs> oh! Come on, come on, let's do it, Chase. You got that. <laughs> if it's good at home, there's no reason to have a side. That's right, baby. That's right. <laughs> I mean, unless Ooh, unless y'all want to do cheap, right. unless y'all want to do a uh, man out of twine, that's a different story. But oh, yeah, yeah. damn! She has to like the girl, you know. What I'm <laughs> see, see. Like so you can go on, ain't okay on that shit. <laughs> that's when we get the okay. Yeah. That's right. That's right. What is going on, Jason? Calm down. All right. How about you, the loud mouth? Let's go to you. <laughs> I. I did not the Fifth Amendment <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> you, thank you, Chase, thank you. I'm criminate myself. You plead the fifth, just say it. Plead the fifth. <laughs> Alright, Chase? Uh, I'll call these brothers. I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> no, I'm free. Alright, just say it. I'll plead the fifth. <laughs> Alright, now it sounds like a plan. It sounds like a plan. Alright, my next question for you guys. Okay, now. How do you feel about what's been going on with COVID? Who wants to answer that question? I mean, it's, it's crazy out there, like, as far as, like, the cops just had to shut it down for, for like, the bars and stuff to, to close at 11. And before that happened, people were outside on the streets partying. I, and I was like, you know, I'm not going to lie, I was one of those guys out there, too. But I, I, was also, I, was outside, I was outside, but I was also questioning. He was outside. Listen, man, <laughs> DJ Chase. I was also questioning. That's a right there. That's a free plug. <laughs> Outside. <laughs> I don't condone it. I was outside, but I do not condone going outside. <laughs> okay, okay. It's still bad. Got some amigos on deck, some people oh, from Azul out there. Look at you, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the song. That's the song. Okay. All right, how about you, Gemini Sex, the phone over there? Um, what was the question again? What are you watching? <laughs> I know you're not watching another. I know you're not watching another restaurant game. Hey, all the uh, you all the you know me. I know you're not watching another post game. Anyway, all right, the question is, how do you feel about um, what's been going on? How do you feel about LeBron and about winning fourth championship? Excuse me, we're not in your subject. Second. Hold on, hold on. My question. I can't wait to get to Oh, man. This ain't been just the first segment. All right, now we're It's okay if he comes back for BK, baby. All right, it's like that cocky shit. All right, listen. That's a jersey stance. Social distance, of course, and just you know, don't be 
outside, outside with the, with the Casa La Azul and the, oh, yeah, the Casa Amigo. I see too many people out there doing that, like party party with the, the Henny outside. I'm like, yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, like, come on, man. Do you know what people are dying out there? Like, come on, man. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, 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 I'm not going to lie.
LeBron's better than MJ. So you're gonna go. You're gonna go with a. With a so you're gonna go with a player that has six losses in the finals. He's about to get a out, out, out of nine years, he has the most career points. Out of nine more career points. No, out of nine. So the reason why out of seventeen seasons, or rebounds, he has six losses yeah. in the finals. No, that's a lot. No, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. You would rather pick him than anybody. I lost a lot of money. That's what happened. I lost a lot of money when LeBron was down three one. And I bet it against LeBron. I'm like, it's over. Damn. I lost so much money. I was like, I'll never, ever, ever in my life bet against LeBron. I'm not, I can't do it. I lost so much money, it hurt my pockets. I'm like, I'm not, I can't do it. That's LeBron, 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 you're not a pressure player. LeBron, man. He's, he's, he's he good. never was. He never was. <laughs> he's, got, he's got the bottom look. Look, who's the best player in the world? Michael Jordan. Anybody, LeBron, anybody, anybody LeBron, being compared to Michael Jordan? Anybody being compared to Jordan has to has to win titles. Yeah, that's nobody right. cares about nobody cares about the playoffs. No, nobody cares about anything. But at the end of the day, you either you, you, you either six and zero or you three and six in the final. Which one? Yeah, he's got into no, it, but I'm just I, like, which one? I, I do not disagree. Which with one? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, he is a he he's a, he. Wait till KD comes back next year. He's, he's a winning. Yeah, yeah. He's he's he won a title. Straight, yeah, he won titles, but is he a winning player? And when you six and zero, when you when when you three and six in the finals, seventeen years, and you got destroyed by Kevin Durant. I mean, Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant he's a killer. destroyed him he's two a years in a row. Not one year, two years. Crushed his dreams of ever winning another title. Well, I see a ring coming out. I'm so, gonna so <laughs> never pick, never pick LeBron James for anything. Because, because. Because if you want to get to the finals, that's fine. Uh -huh. He's not. He's not going to have. He's not going to. You, you're not going to win. He got AD now. He got some. You know, you're he not going to win. That's not enough. He got. He got to like that's not enough. Now. He got a big. That's not know. enough. <laughs> that's not enough. And the Clippers still destroyed him. Nah, but the Clippers are stacked. And they still destroyed him. But I, I, a little bit of me think the yeah. NBA is rigged. The bro, look, the look, passion, thank you. And look, you know, the Lakers, it, it's going to be beautiful for the NBA. Look, and the Lakers win. All this is a game, okay? Not even they, they got Anthony Davis. Yeah, they got, they got, they got, oh, they got and Anthony Davis. And he's injured now. And he's injured oh. now. And he's injured now. He got hurt. He's injured now. LeBron, look, oh, look, man. LeBron just had all these players. Every team he's ever played with, he's, he's had that, stars. He's he had stars. It's just that him, as a player, I would never pick him as a player. Because he sucks in the league, he sucks in the finals. <laughs> you being six, you being three and six in the finals, and you're not even being compared to the players that you that you play with. But well, you still gotta be loyal to the Lakers, though. Amen. Who? Maybe Kobe, because yeah, maybe going. You know what I'm saying? But I want, honestly, I want them to win because Kobe passed. Honestly, that's the only reason real. I'm really, really why I want them to win. Kobe passed, Lakers got it. But so what? He's gone now. Kobe's <laughs> going. And, and and now you now you got LeBron James and you and he's never gonna look. At the end of the day, the Lakers is not the Lakers is not gonna win another title. Yeah, that's harsh. They're not gonna win another title. Uh, and then and then he told me he wanna play with his son. What? Whoa. <laughs> he can do that though. He can do that. He go, he's not nah. gonna be as good, but he can nah. do it. His son, look, all look, all his son gotta do is play for another team, and then 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 his son will destroy him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's all good. By the time it's Sunday in the league, he's going It's not even, not even be comparable. He's going to be way better. You think so? Yeah. No, he's, wow. I, mean, I mean, he's going to be wow. so at the time. So that means he's going to be just like his father? A loser? Oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, 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 Might drop somebody. That's something. Yeah, yeah. That's something without for you know. I can't, I can't, but I can't root for the Clippers. Bro. It's just not, it don't feel right. I understand, but yo. <laughs> It don't feel I'm, right. I'm just like, I'm here. <laughs> I know that, but you gotta be love. You gotta pick a team, and I'm never, I'm never gonna pick a team with LeBron James. Cause at the end of the day, I want to win. If you want, if you want, look, if you want to win, I want to win titles. I don't care about nothing else. Yeah. That's how you get to Hall of Fame. Every time you win, every, every, every time you win a title, you, you, you get close to the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Every time you lose, every time you lose, that shit goes down. Down, down, down. <laughs> but, how exactly. feel, but how do you feel about LeBron about to beat almost every statistical? Look, record? all that shit is regular. <laughs> all that's regular. Nobody cares. People that watch the yeah, game. Yeah, about the win. People about that the look, look. People that watch the game. <laughs> let me explain to you. Nobody cares about the season. 
Right. Even LeBron James said it anyway. Right. So if you so if you got the best player, the so-called best player in the game, don't care about the season, what else is left? The finals, right? Yeah. And he's a loser in the finals. So then what? So he might as well retire. Yeah, that was Come on, man, yo, let me tell you, no, no, nah, that's what, nah, that's what. First of all, let me tell you something. Yo, that rebound, yo, that rebound, yo, they was tied up. They was tied up. Come on, man. They were, come on. Come on. They was tied up. They was tied up. See, see, Le, see, Le, see the fans of see the fans of LeBron James say if if he don't win, then then everybody's a loser. He's the loser. I ring the bell. That's it for now. Ring the bell. There's a part two for next week. This All right, is yeah, I, was like, I was like, damn. Okay, okay. All right, we're about to have uh, music break now. Yeah. We're gonna play a couple of independent artist music as we do every week. Uh, the Bell G Spotlight uh, team. Uh, so wow. The Bell G Spotlight radio show is supposed to be for independent artists. Uh, you can send us submissions you know, at JM Empire Media um, at gmail.com. And if you want direct, hit directly to me, DJ Chase, DJ Chase Digital.com. Yes. Yeah. Or follow my Instagram, uh, underscore DJ Chase, underscore, and just, you know, just DM me and I'll, I'll get to it eventually. Yep. Yeah. Accept submissions. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So this week we have um, uh, Sassoon out of center. All right. And then what's the song after that? We got Preacher from Colorado, Denver. I think. Let me get this right. Uh, it's called Get Live. All right. Those two are coming up right now on the BTF Radio, yes. live radio show. And after that we got a guest, Yogi Oni. That's right. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's get it. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going some way like 
Especially in the coming times. Like, right. Oh, you're right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, perfect. Yay. You're next, baby. We're after him. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, everybody, watch. Tune in. Yeah, I'm talking right now. Yeah. is walking up there. Thank you so much for being on the 
show with us. I'll put it here so you can see that. No, no, no. But thank you for being on the show. Um, I appreciate y'all for real. Uh, for real. Uh, I love you. I love what y'all doing too. Which are grass is Yes, let's get straight to it now. Yes, so let the world know who is Yogi Homie. Uh, I go by Yogi Homie. I'm an artist out of the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Oh, shoot. LES. Yeah, LES in the building. I have both of them. Yeah, what's up, LES? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lower East Side, let's go. We all family. So that's why I guess why, that's why we connect. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, why I'm saying. Man. Yeah. Um, my group, my group member is a, a three mob. That's that stands for three million, three million or better. That's just for all the artists that know they work and know they worth, you know, what they really worth. Oh, uh, okay. I got a, I got a project coming out actually tomorrow on my birthday. Okay. Happy birthday! Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. It's called Thirty for Thirty. Ooh. I'm dropping it because I'm, dro I'm turning thirty. And okay. tomorrow is 7.30, so I dropped a 30-song uh, project, music project. Uh, it's coming out tomorrow. You can get on my website, uh, yogihobie30.com, and you can get it, download it, and stream it there for free. Uh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. He just pretty much the whole interview, though. Wow. <laughs> I was like, all right, so um, let us know before we play your song um, more about your, your, your project. So like this this project like honestly I've been yeah so I haven't put out any music I've been recording music for the last like I don't even know ten years or plus okay. and uh, like seriously like recording music for like ten years and so I never put anything out really like I put out projects before like you know EPs or whatever but I never put out a full project and I was like you know what I'm turning thirty um, I have all this music. And I was originally going to do 10 songs, and like, bro, if you're going to do 30 for 30, you know, one of my, my, my brother, True Sweet, shout out to him. He's like, if you're going to do 30 for 30, it has to be 30 songs on there. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> but I didn't understand, like, I had the 30 songs already made, but I didn't understand, like, the mixing process and all that. That was what I wanted to tell you, bro. That's no, a lot of work. Well, oh, I've been recording for like a year. Yeah, yes, yes. Like, I just finished yeah, yesterday. Time. Like, I finished my last track yesterday, and like, the deadline was today. I mean, all kind of tomorrow, and I was like, we gotta go. So, it was, a, it was a long, long process. So, I'm just, it's, this project is just pretty much, you can see my growth as a, as a man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can hear me spitting at 20 years old, and, 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 and see what I was, my mindset, and you can hear me at, like, 29, and see the whole, it was a whole different thing. So, I, I, I kind of liked it, because you can see the growth in me as a man. To see my mindset kind of change. And it'll be on all digital platforms. No, it's only on. Uh, I didn't do it on any other platforms, but uh, my website. Uh, it might. I might put it out on other, other platforms later. Okay. But I just wanted to do it on my website. I didn't want to give like other companies to there. make money off of it. Exactly. I learned that the hard way too, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't want nobody to make money off what I was doing. So. That's what's up. That's what's up. I respect that. Yeah, yeah. Um, tell us your website where people put out. They want to get a good. Yogi Homie 30.com. Yogi Homie Y O G I H O M I E 30.com. It'll be out midnight tonight, actually. It'll be out. Ooh, so y'all better stay up late early yeah, to get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, my other question is who are your musical influences? Um, uh, man, it's a lot. Man. Like, but the, I'll say like the, the three main guys like that influenced me the most when I was a kid was probably. Um, Nas, uh, Jay Z, mm. and DMX. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are, those are like my, my first three albums I ever had. So, okay. those guys, uh, you know, they shape my mind on how to actually write music. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's like, you know what? It's giving also an honor to the legends. Like, you know, they, they gave the pathway to us yeah, yeah, to yeah. appreciate their work and their ethic and their work ethic and stuff like that. So, it was like, down the line, you realize, okay, I'll work with them, but I'll make it. Exactly. So, that was my whole thing, like trying to find my own sound and not try to sound too much like them, but like, you know, get my own sound. But like those guys have influenced me as, as far as the topics and stuff like that that they wrote about in DMX growing up. Like, you know, him having that versus the other day, like I was like, hey, I'm kind of forgot. Oh, but the thing with Snoop Dogg, <laughs> right? Yeah. Dog, yeah, I missed it. Oh, oh my God. That was I, got, I got a question for you. Yeah, man. Yeah. I always ask artists, like, so you plan on staying uh, independent or you want to go, like, I mean, like a little thing? 
not even major, major, but say like a distribution deal from a major comes up or like, uh, you know, just a publishing situation come up, how would you, would you sign up? I don't think I will. Like, I just okay. know, like, I'm just not, I feel like I have a team of people already mm -hmm. that could help me out. I don't need to really go to anybody unless it was a sweet, sweet deal where it's like, yo, you get, we just want to help you out. And, you know what I'm saying? But I, I'm, I'll stay independent. I, I, I hope more artists do that. I think somebody came out like, somebody came out, I think it was, um, I forget his name, but he came out with like if Drake was independent. He, he was. He was. He was. It was Russ, right? right? He's like, like if Drake were independent, there wouldn't be no music in this. Yeah, because he, he plays all the else. That's, that's crazy. That's that to me that's crazy. And the same thing happened to Mac Miller as well. Rest yeah. Peace, by the way. Like yeah, he rest also peace. yeah, he was doing amazing, but not only able to back him. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, eventually yeah. they reached out to him. Yeah, they hit him, they get him. You know, they be they be signed, they be lying. Yeah, and they be have a publishing deal. They might not be like a regular label, but they go to like a Warner Chapel. Ah. They be with big publishers, yeah. A lot like the guys you see that have the mass mass stuff. Yeah. Like they be publishing companies. So don't believe that. But some of them some people do be like Russ. Yeah, right. Not so much. He probably got a publishing deal. Yeah. But he, he probably pulls us like that tier of independent art. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, independence is tough, man. You gotta, put, you gotta put up a lot of your money. You gotta love like, it. me doing this project, I had to put up a lot of money. Wow. Studio it's time. Yeah, studio oh, time. That's, like, that's the killer right there. Killer. Yeah. Killer. Yeah. killer. Getting your songs mixed and mastered. Like, people don't realize. Like how hard that was. I was falling asleep in the studio. Wow. Because like it's a, work. it's a lot. Thirty songs is a lot. And I'm like, yo, I was. I was the same engineer. Yes, I want to shout out my engineer. Well, Thank you, this, bro. Mark e, I love you, bro. I oh. love you with the, from the bottom of my heart. You can tell I'm a producer. I've been paying over the producers. I'm yeah, like, no, you need yeah. somebody really sit there and engineer every song. Yeah, my man Mark e, <laughs> My man Mark e is a goat. Man, I, I, I like he. He put in more work than I did. Like I'm just keeping like that. Like he's the reason why this shit came out. So uh, Marky, I love you, bro. That's what's up, baby. That's what's up. That's, that's, I gotta ask this question. How did you get the state the name or his name of um, Yogi Bear? I'm sorry, I'm wrong with uh, that. I mean, Yogi Bear's no, in my head. But no, but that was originally my name. Oh, so really? when I was a kid, it was a, it was a childhood nickname. Oh, I was in uh YMCA camp, <laughs> and uh, there was a mean, mean counselor. She was very mean, and she had got a blippy sandwich. Yeah. And I decided to take it. Wow. <laughs> I took it, and ever since then, they were calling me Yogi Bear. See, that was a joke, but I actually didn't know wow. that. Okay, so yeah, and so kids I either call me Yogi or Bear. That's cute. And then as I got older, I was like, you know what, I'm going to make this my rap name. Yeah. I didn't want to use Yogi Bear, so I just changed it to Yogi Only. I like that. You know, I'm a friendly guy. Thing, you know, that's a dope yeah, I'm a friendly yeah. guy. I'm cool with everybody. Like I try town. to. I don't know if you come over and perform my town. Um, I used to. I used to. Yeah, you get a pride, a lot of love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a dope name. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So different, but I was like, I had to. It was like, hmm, okay, I'm gonna act a hobby interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was originally Yogi Bear, and a lot of actually everybody, a lot of my friends still call me YB. You know what I'm saying? Still, yeah, for sure, they still call me YB. But you know, my artist name is Yogi. Um, we're gonna play your song in a minute called Holy Bread in a minute. I'm, getting, I'm waiting for my the okay, co-host to help me up when I got you. I got you. Um, let me ask you, oh, do you have any because of COVID we're like limited with doing shows and stuff? Do you have any plans for this year or next year? Um, I'm just I don't like I have a, I have a video coming out, I have a few videos coming out. Um, I got an interview that's gonna come out soon too. Um, as far as shows, I, that's what I've been trying to figure out, like yeah. how to perform my music. Yogi Homie on Twitter. 
Um, the, the song you're about to hear is produced by my man Kevlar, Kevlar Productions. Um, he's kind of low east side, he's a beast. Okay. He produced um, for Corey Guns. Yeah, uh, yeah, a bunch of people. I can't even name him. He, he produced a lot of beats for a lot of people. And he's, he's a hardworking guy. And he gave me this beat. And like when I first heard it for the first 10 seconds, I was like, I got it. And he just gave it to me. So I respect him, Kev. Shout out to Kevlar's Holy Grail. Okay, so we're gonna close out the show with Holy Grail and then we're gonna sign out. Alright, All right, so let's get it out with artist Jokey. Holy. Alright, right now, yeah. Let's go. Holy Grail. Every Wednesday at 
6 p.m., 7 p.m. at DTF Radio. Yes, my peoples. We have host Robert G. Co-host the Lama, which is quiet, by the way. Um, Gemini Stacks, Mr. MBA, and DJ Chase. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yes. Yeah, so again, guys, we'll see what we have for next week. But uh, again, we also have an artist showcase on August 26th. If anybody's listening or watching, you're going to be a part as well. Yo, nice get your Yeah, yeah. That's me. I'm down. Oh, so now we're not. <laughs> yes, and it'll be great, you know. We just have a, uh, we'll have DJ just be on here. Live right here. Yeah, live performing. Okay, I'm with that. We're going to have a good time, and uh, we're going to just give a blast at the end of the summer. Why not? Before September kicks in, right? It's going to be crazy out there. So oh. if the train is empty now, but just be prepared for the chaos during the school season. Oh, God, don't get me started. Oh. Listen, I'm trying to buy a helicopter. Good <laughs> <laughs> luck, because it's going to be rough. Definitely, man, definitely. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next week, love you all. Have a good one. Always believe in yourself, and it's your time to shine. Let's go. Take care, guys. Close out, DJ. Go. Awesome.